Hey, this is Jeff, and I am messing around with uh, the new um, Army Total Mix. And it's got compression and EQ on every track. And you notice now the compressor shows how much compression or expansion is happening. Um, and uh, which is kind of fun with these lines up here. And um, this is the guitar coming in here, and the guitar is set to auto set, and it's set for instrument, which it puts it at 400 and something K ohms. And um, this is the microphone also set to auto set at the 48 volts. Phantom power. The MIDI is also going in, it's going to Rapture and Dimension Pro. Rapture, Dimension Pro, and the guitar sound with TH2 on it are coming out of analog 1 and 2 in the middle row there. This one guitar has got a Roland GR20 MIDI pickup. So you notice when I turn the EQ on um, here, this is headphones, you guys are listening to this one over here, the AS1 and 2. Um, <coughs> the, when, when it doesn't have the focus, it lights up bright so you know that the EQ is on. Now, turn on the reverb here. This is the total amount of effects that are processor power that you have. And as you turn things on, it uses up more of that. So this should give us a little bit of uh, more vocal control, maybe. Thank you.
Down at the bottom right hand corner is the totalizer. It gives you the uh, spectrum analysis on the output along with the stereo pan thingy goniometer thing. This gives you at minus 14 the kind of steady level of what's been happening. So it's kind of quiet compared to what it could be. And uh, that's the idea. I think it's kind of fun. Wanted to show. Uh, trim is kind of interesting. Trim allows you to, um, let's say we get a level set for um, the main mix where it's about there, but for the this mix, we're going to have it a little lower, like there. And then the concert's going on, and we want to move them both together. They move relative. You see the little arrows next to them? Up and down. They're moving relative to each other. So that's kind of cool if you're mixing a show and you've got monitors and mains and you want to mix them uh, together relative. This is two-row view. Um, you can hide the effects. Still on. You can tell by the processor over here. It's always on. Um, there you go. Uh, you can shift clip faders to add them to an Insta group and then move them together. Turn the group off there. Um, you can add solo and the solos collectively there. Um, that's good enough. Hope you enjoyed it.